One, three, two, one. We are live. Look what? at here. Look at this. This is. It looks so much better on the live. Oh, that Look, looks. It's I know. picking up that color. Yeah, the camera wasn't picking it up. Look at that. Isn't so, that incredible? This is the very first blue wrap ever done. <laughs> and this is made with the blue spirulina powder. And if you want the link to the blue spirulina powder, send me a DM with blue and I will send you a link. Look at this, the phycocyanin. Yes. Not the anthocyanin, the phycocyanin. Look at that blue. Yes. Oh so my gosh. for those curious, this wrap is the everything but the bagel wrap from my hand salads ebook, which you can get via the link in my bio. Everything but the bagel. But we added per batch two teaspoons of the blue spirulina and that resulted in it these gorgeous wraps. Amazing. And we put um, white sesame seeds and red pepper flakes as sprinkles. So yeah, first one, first one ever. And if you guys have any questions, you know, put them in the chat. You know, the blue spirulina, we just got this. And this is, she just made these yesterday. They're so fun. And it is incredible. I can't wait. Okay, so we're going to okay. wrap it up. Okay, so first <clears throat> up. Oh, here. So uh, Robin's asking, what does it do for you? What does this do for you? Well, the phycocyanins are, anti are really powerful antioxidants. That's why we need to eat the rainbow. It's an antioxidant. And as we know, antioxidants really help fight those free radicals. And yeah, look at that. It, the color alone is so incredible. It's just another way. It's adding stuff like this, any sea vegetables, spirulina, uh, these sorts of things, different algae. It's just another way to get some really amazing. Oh, maybe you could set it right over here. Yeah. So these are, um, it's also really high in protein. Spirulina is actually one of the really higher high ones with protein. protein. So yes. that's a bonus as well. We'll just leave it to the that's side. That's right. Rainbow Moon, a historical moment. We, I, was like, <laughs> I was like, babe, you got to go live. She's like, oh, yeah, I should. Because she already this. rolled one. And I'm like, no way. You got to go live. You got to show everyone this. Look, Look at, at that. that. It's Boom. so soft. Oh it's so gosh. perfect. Okay, so we're going to peel it off the tray. Yep. So it's the everything but the bagel wrap, but it just has the blue spirulina powder in it to make yeah. it pop. That's the only thing we added to that recipe. Yes. And everybody who's wondering, the recipes for the wraps are in the hand salads ebook. 40% off code is rawfood40, so head yeah. over to the link in my bio. It is pretty. Yes, you do need these, shorty fit. <laughs> and, you know, um, Robin says looks like felt. It does, doesn't it? I know, it? it does, yeah. It does look like a piece of felt. But it's fully edible. It's made with onion, date, apple. Okay, blue so spirulina. how long did it take you to blend and pour those? It took me, for, to make two wraps, which is one recipe, it took 15 minutes. So 15 minutes. Okay, you guys, let's get the timers out. If any of you can, you know, have a stopwatch, <laughs> get your timer out and let's time her and see how fast it takes her to roll this up. Oh, we're gonna, let's We're going to keep okay. her on point. Okay. okay. Yes, I know it can't be any more blue. It is so crazy blue. <laughs> Oh, Leaves and Wanders in here. She says, nice. so stoked. My silicone mats came today. Everything yes. but the bagel first on the list. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, it is, Sam, it is so good. The Everything But The Bagel um, wrap is one of our favorites and it stays so fresh for so long. Okay, okay so if I'm gonna be timed, timed. I'm not gonna it's, talk. It's 440, <laughs> okay, ready, okay. and go. Okay, so we've got some tree line cheese. This is a cashew cheese with oil free. We could have made our own, but it was easier just to grab some. Yep, the tree line is a really good brand and we actually have a little bit of cheese, but I think that Maybe not enough to put in the wrap, but if you get the wrap book, there's cheese recipes in the wrap book. So a nice thin uh, sheen of cheese is another thing that really helps um, keep everything, it, it kind of like creates like a barrier from the moisture, the, you know, the lettuces and stuff getting into the wrap. So putting on a cheese sauce is a really great um a great way to go and of course like who doesn't love a little cheese I mean, right i mean so it's so delicious. good um live ali a little or live a little says 440 where are you guys it's 740 here in new york okay yeah we're in las vegas this is live from downtown las vegas that's okay, where we're home based this lettuce look at this so this lettuce that she's busting out we got this off of our lettuce grow tower we just harvested off the lettuce grow tower uh, make sure you send a DM if you want the link for the Lettuce Grow Tower 
you know, we are affiliated with them, so we do get a little commission if you guys end up buying one of those. But this little tower, this um, this farm stand, I should say, is incredible. We have all kinds mm -hmm. of different greens growing in there. Yeah. Look, it's it's zero forty here in London. Okay, so oh, it's like <laughs> super <We're> early, early, <laughs> super because I think London is eight hours ahead. Yes. So it's like really, really, yeah. Okay, wish y'all could bring up. these to Kansas. Hey, from Texas. Yeah, you know, if if uh, if you guys were near, we you know we would hook you up. You know we would. We want to see the reactions. You want the tower. Okay, yeah, just send either Lissa or I a direct message, and we'll send you the link. And, uh, yeah, so we, gr we grew all this lettuce. We grew all this lettuce in a tower, and it's just an automatic water, and it's got some lights. You don't need... Um, you don't need the lights. You could put it next to a window, but it is so amazing. Brussels sprouts. Look, so we've got lettuce. We've got some cabbage. We've got some green onions. We've got some uh, carrot, some shredded, raw shredded Brussels sprouts. Really, really good. All this is super good little dude food, microbiome right. food. This is your avocado. 1140 in Australia. What up? Australia is in the house. Your wrap. Yeah, it's a tower garden. It's not an act. It's it's somewhat like a tower garden. It's not the actual tower garden brand. It's actually called a lettuce grow brand. And if you guys are familiar with Zoe Deschanel, the actress and singer, um, it was actually her and her ex husband. They were together when they did come up with it. But I don't think they're together Do you any want more longer. Onion or is that good? No, that's beautiful. Okay, all right. Okay. Here Rolling we go. It up. Rolling it up. It's been three minutes. Okay, go, go. Okay. It's got avocado. It's got it's got onion. It's One got carrot, side. Brussels sprouts. Look at this. Show us your view in Vegas. All right, I'll show you here in a minute. Um, we'll just finish having to wrap it up. Look at this. This Look is the first that. ever. You guys are witnessing, actually this is the second, because the first one <laughs> I was like, you better go live and show. This is the second ever blue wrap in the entire world ever be enrolled with the blue. I actually think it's not because. Oh. Namaste Crochet oh, okay. made them. Gotcha. But this is the first time we have ever. Well, Namaste done it. Crochet. Namaste Crochet was High my fives inspiration. To you. Hey, she inspired us. Yes. I love it. So it's Look the 18th already for you guys. So over here, it's the 17th. Yeah, so you guys, you're in the, we're in the future. Huh. Look at this. Wrap. Look at that. Look at that. It's a blue wrap. That is so incredible. It's just right. amazing. It's like a, just a big old burrito. A blue burrito. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Diana. Y'all are so awesome. Thank you for going live and ready. Boom! It's been exactly, since we switched on the phone, it's been exactly four, four minutes. minutes. Four minutes to wrap them, my friends. I mean, come on. Yeah, totally. You, they don't rip. You can really kind of go hard on them. And look at how thin the wall is there, if you can see. I mean, these are incredible. Very strong, very hearty, yes, very pretty. Take a bite. Are we, are we able to take a bite of this one? Well, these are for tomorrow. I'll take a bite right now. Shoot. <laughs> Here, you want to film me taking a bite? Sure. They're for tomorrow. Okay, so we don't have any sauce <laughs> out, but you know what I'll do? I'll just, little, I'll just put a little pat of cheese right here on the end. This will be the bite. I don't want to eat too much because we are saving these for... Um, and we have a big salad coming for dinner, yeah, so... Yeah, and my son's coming. But look at here, you can kind of squeeze it, you know, to get your mouth around it. Mmm. Mm. Blue mm. wrap! Blue um, wrap. You know what really helps is wrap them in the deli paper. Yeah. And let them sit mm -hmm. overnight, or at least... If you wrap them in the morning, by lunchtime, they'll soften up a little bit. The wrapper itself will soften up a little bit, but they're the best the next day. Mm-hmm. Recipes in hand salads, link in my bio. All right, I will take another bite. Okay. Someone's asking how we wrap them for the next day. So oh, I'm yeah. gonna show that. Oh, here, I'll take the phone. I'll just you can... pull it up here. How do, how do you store it for lunch tomorrow? Okay, okay so... this is the best thing, Robin Lee. So once you have them wrapped, they're the best. You just get some deli paper. You could use parchment, but the deli papers are nice because it's a little bit, they, they breathe, they breathe, a, they breathe a little different. We just got these off of Amazon. I'll take your, your bitten one. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, if you guys have the wrap book, the links for the wrapper, uh, the deli paper is in 
It's linked in the book. If you have the hard copy, the print version, because the print version is out, it's also um, in there through a QR code. So you can get all kinds of really cool papers. There's holiday papers and Thanksgiving ones. And you know, you could, the papers are really fun. send me a DM, I can get them a link. Yeah, do the DM. Also, the vegan slip says, I have your books and the silicone trays. Can you wrap them the night before? Yes. Of course. Wrap them the night before. That's and, what we're doing. And you know what? <laughs> and once you wrap them with the dry ingredients like this, of course, she had avocado in there. So the avocado, you know, avocado looks kind of funky after a couple days. If you don't put the avocado in there, this will last and it will taste delicious even on the fourth or even the fifth day. I've had them on the sixth day, even <laughs> six days. So, but I, you know, anywhere from the second to the third day is they're they're the best fourth day you know stuff kind of starts to like maybe change a little color because it's getting oxidized right okay so this is how we wrap it we okay put it kind of like not quite in the center center but just down a little bit and then we go center up yes and then i like to push in the side and then lift this up and then i push you can like kind of mold the wrap a little bit more push in the side and then lift it up and then all you do is roll it up and then you can take a little piece of painter's tape some blue tape like this here <laughs> blue like the wrap yeah totally and you could use that to tape it closed and what's cool with the wrapper papers is you could have you know maybe you have like different papers for different people like the green one is you know so and so's and the pineapple ones are so and so's so the wrapper papers really make it fun but this right here you guys this will last for literally we could so it's it's sunday right now so we could have all day monday all day tuesday all day wednesday we could eat this on thursday and it would still be really delicious it would still be really delicious sam says here leaves and wanders my partner and i listed out our top 10 and what to order and we want to try all the wraps <laughs> lmao been nerding out over here that is so cool i love hearing that sam thank you for sharing yeah because you know, there's so many. There's over 34 different wraps. Each wrap is different. They're not the same. Each one is different. We got the Purple Passion. One of my favorites is the Two No Fish. Look at there's the Mushroom BLT. Every single one is a different Italian herb pizza. The wrap's different. The sauces are different. The inside is different. And what's cool is whether you get the hard copy like this or the ebook, I'm trying to flip to the page. She has in here, wherever it is, the QR <laughs> code that you can just um, take a picture with your phone and the QR code will bring you to the links for everything. It's so, so cool. Yeah, so if you wanted to get um, the, the print versions, they're available on Amazon right now. Just send me a DM or yeah. go to the link in my bio because the link is in there. Just got the hand salads books. We just got them in the mail. So excited. Uh, Diana says, I was going to ask you about the sauce. Yeah, so we don't have a sauce made for this one This one here just yet. We're going to make up a sauce. Probably tomorrow. And then uh, here, um, I want to see a wrap battle. So beautiful. Where's the silicone mats from? So the silicone mats are from um, Amazon. You can order them for off of Amazon. So here they are. It's and dirty because it had the wrap on. Yeah. They're really easy to wash. They're super, super tough. And of course you can do all kinds of other stuff with them too. Like we like to marinate and dehydrate, uh, vegetables on them. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. What makes it blue? Yeah. So this makes it blue. Yep. Yeah, so there is what we have there. The blue spirulina powder. Send me a DM. I'll send you a link. Phycocyanin. It yes. is really good it's stuff. Super, this super is blue. this is something that we have gone through before, but we haven't had one in a long time. So it's going to be cool to have this back in. Yeah, you need the silicone mats. It really makes all the difference, and they are on Amazon. And as you can see right over here, there it is. And you know what? Say say you made up some wraps and. You don't want to use them right now. You could literally just set this. We've done tests. You could set this silicone mat just on top of your dehydrator, just like this. Don't peel it so oxygen doesn't get to the underside and it will stay beautiful for like over a week, 10 days. I think we rolled one up that was two weeks old and it yeah. was still fine. So that's really a cool way to do it too. We have other tricks on how to store them. Should I wrap one more live? All right, here we go. One more live. What do you guys say? Letting them sit overnight made them rehydrate enough 
Um, and I dried everything really well. Any suggestion? Oh, okay. Oh, that means that they weren't fully dry. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to push. These on, ones aren't quite. These I ones, think I might get another one from okay. the other to hide. If they have any indentation at all, when you push on the actual wrapper, then it needs to be dehydrated a bit longer. So make sure that it's dehydrated uh, as long as, as you know you can. I mean, you know, yeah, just do the do the dimple test. Just push on it, and if it has any dimples at all, it needs to go longer. Um, and yeah, I know you said that you put all the dry ingredients in. You know, you want to make sure you're using dry ingredients that you're putting in the wrap because that's going to really help. You know, that's going to um, re-moisturize the wrap too. But if you're eating it, say, that day, you could put tomato in there. Sometimes we like to put some fermented pickles that we've made in there and that sort of stuff. This one should oh, be a thanks. lot better. The vegan slip says, thanks, you guys are the best. Oh, this one's a lot better. Very this good. This one's very dry. Let me, get, let me get in here. Okay, right here. So you it's can see, soft, you can see it's okay. if it makes any kind of a dimple at all then it needs to go longer, but these one, this one feels great. Yeah, this one's really good. So yeah, if you have any extra, it's just gonna, like, it's like the moisture just kind of builds on itself yes. and it like gets soft, so. So I'll show you the tower here in a second, and which recipe this is, this is the everything but the bagel uh, wrap, but we added, all we did was just added the blue spirulina powder. So oh, two it's, teaspoons. Boom, and look at that. Is that incredible? So or it's basically what? one teaspoon per batch. Yeah, and Cake and Chef says, I love that they are pure plants. Exactly. Yes. Pure plants, high in omega 3, no fat, or like every, very little fat. Everything has fat in it. I mean, even this cabbage. Well, there's chia, and there's a little tahini. Right, in this but one, even, so. even this carrot has a little <laughs> bit of fat in it. So they're very, very low fat. Yes. And they are all plants. It's the coolest thing. Are those reusable or recyclable? I think are you, are you talking oh, about these? the papers? If you have the paper, we've used the paper like dozen, like, well, maybe not a dozen, probably like six times or so. Um, you can reuse the paper as long as it doesn't get wet, right? Mm -hmm. It'll it'll be fine. You can reuse them and you we can... we use oil-free stuff so it doesn't get all weird yeah. oily. And you can recycle them. Can you mail me a wrap? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can make them. It's so, so fun, so simple. Like she said, 15 minutes to, to blend up and pour two and get them in the dehydrator. And as you guys saw, it took her four minutes to wrap it. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. It's five or it's 454. 454. Let's time her again. Uh, can you make the wrap in the oven? It doesn't work best no. in the oven. They have been formulated for the dehydrator. Uh, most ovens don't go down low enough. They will end up being like kind of like a cracker. So a dehydrator is so incredibly important, and that's what that hot pink one is over there. We've actually got a few of them. But invest in a dehydrator, and you can use it to do all kinds of stuff. And uh, that's how these were formulated. These were formulated for the dehydrator. How do you make the wraps? Can you show the view? Okay, so the wraps are, the recipe are in the wrap book, the hand salads book, which you can get 40% off right now if you do the, the ebook version. And then the print versions are available via Amazon. Look, she's tapping into some of our other cheese. We made this cheese here. It's gonna be a double cheese. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I want that one. That one looks this good. Mine. Okay, cookbook. Yep. So yeah, you want the book version? Just go to, to, to our, either one of our bios. I think actually, I don't know if I have the print copy on my store yet. So go to Lissa's bio and grab the, you could grab the hard version there. Yep, the print version just came out. The print yes, version just came out. December 2nd. I'll show you the tower here in just a minute. Okay, let's get this. We aren't done. necessarily super close to the casinos. They're about 15 minutes away. We actually live downtown. So I'll show you the view here, you guys, real quick. We are downtown. Look at this here. Boom, we're in the Ogden, 21 floors up, right? And we have no skyscrapers in front of us. It is just nothing but just beautiful view everywhere. All right, let's get back in here. We got her timed up. Oh, she stopped. She paused. She's not even taking, she's not even doing a, taking advantage of the time that we went out there. I okay. I to use this video for other stuff. <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, see how long we've been. Maybe one minute. How about a swirl wrap with two different colors? Yeah, you could have all kinds totally of fun. Do the do swirl that. wrap. I actually have some pink pataya. If you don't have a dehydrator, it is really tricky to make the wrap. Um, I, I would say 
I mean, as much as it kind of sucks to, to hear that, I would say no. It would be really hard to make the wrap without the dehydrator. So if you can invest on a dehydrator, we've had ours, like Lissa's had hers for over 10 years. I've had mine for like over seven. It's a great piece of equipment and it is the best way. So, you, so if you were to bake it, it would actually turn it into like a cracker. It'd be too hot because these were dehydrated at 112 degrees. So it's still a raw, um, it's still a raw meal because it hasn't been it hasn't been over you know 120 degrees. So that's kind of this that's what we like to geek out with is keeping it. So the spirulina powder is two uh, tablespoons, teaspoons, two teaspoons, two teaspoons. <laughs> Come on, tablespoons, teaspoons. Would be a lot. two teaspoons of blue spirulina powder in the everything but the bagel. You could probably add the blue uh, the blue spirulina powder to like any wrap really. But the everything but the bagel wrap is really nice because the color is pretty mellow. And the wrap recipe is the wrap recipe, or is the recipe wrap in the wrap ebook? Yes, the recipe for uh, the everything but the bagel is in the wrap ebook. But you'll have to order some of the uh, blue spirulina powder from Terrasol Superfoods, and we just got this off of Amazon. So if you get this, you could make this exact same brilliant blue wrap so so cool all right let's load up the onion here yes look at there boom i like oh my gosh. a lot of onion lissa loves her onion um is the dehydrator using a lot of energy in 10 hours no not very much energy at all it's probably oh, like like 30 cents yeah i was gonna say like you know at most maybe 50 cents mm -hmm. okay U usd are we ready the dehydrator if you send lissa a um Go ahead, babe. <laughs> if you send Lissa a DM, she can give you the link for the dehydrator. Or you could send me a DM as well. I can send you the link as well. Um, but yeah, if you need anything, whatever you guys need, however we can help you out, just send us a direct message. Ask questions. We're here to help you. Woo. Look at, boom. Oh my gosh. That is an incredible wrap. Mm -hmm. This one's oh very gosh. Lissa. It's got like three radishes look in it that. and like look at a that whole that is just like oh, <laughs> raw. i love it i love it yes epic wrap right here yeah the excalibur thank you um robin lee the excalibur dehydrator is what we really like isn't that wild okay here we go she's opening it up it's the best right, part the go. reveal ba boom oh my gosh there's just nothing like a blue wrap. I mean, that come on. So cool. I mean, come on. Blue wrap. Yeah. So much fun. We're gonna make hot pink ones next. Yes. We're just waiting for so it in the good. mail. Yeah, the sauces um, in the recipe book too. Uh, you don't have to buy the sauce book. All the sauce recipes. There's 34 different sauce recipes in the wrap book. There's 34 different, um, you know, wrap recipes in there. There's some cheese. And yeah. yeah, so everything that you need for all kinds of different uh, sauces and and um, like tartar sauce, there's even a tartar sauce in there. It's all in the wrap book. And of course you can put whatever you want in the wraps, but everything that is filled in the wrap is also, because each one, all 34, each one is a little bit different. So they all have kind of a little bit different of a theme. I'm gonna go get my pink papers. Yeah, that's a big boy right there. Isn't that amazing? Oh yeah, get the pink paper. I know, it's so pretty, you don't wanna eat it. I know some people were saying like, oh, I don't even see you guys eating the food, or you know, I wouldn't wanna eat something like that. But oh my gosh, it is so hard to not eat it because it is so pretty. But yes, we do eat them and they're amazing. You threw your Excalibur out because you never used it. Oh my goodness, that is a tragedy right there. You should have sold it. I don't know if you sold it or if you just threw it out. I bought mine used for like $120. I just looked on Craigslist. I did have to drive a little ways to get it, but um, it was great. 
What's the name of the pink? Okay, here we go. Look oh, at the pink. Look at the pink. It's from the same company as Terrasol. They make pitaya powder. The pitaya powder. It's basically just pink dragon fruit yes. powder, and it's hot pink. We're gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna, gonna do it some. again. We're gonna make pink ones. We're next. gonna get some. <laughs> oh, you threw you threw it out in the trash. A five oh, tray. Oh my gosh, Carla, I feel I feel I feel for you. A five oh. tray would be perfect because the five tray is the same size as yeah. the nine tray. It's fourteen by fourteen, so those things would work great. Ah, oh, thank you, Renee. Ah, oh, right. thank you. She says here, you guys are so amazing. My favorite rock couple. Aww. You guys work so hard. Very encouraging. Thank we we you. love you. Sending love to you. Thank you so much. All right. Look at these papers, though, right? <laughs> the hot pink checkered papers. Alyssa wraps. So good. So hot good. <laughs> all right, here we go. And just like that. Oh, yeah. We're all done. Sam says, we're going to do everything but the bagel and then buffalo, then falafel. <laughs> There's yeah, the, so many. I'm so curious how the buffalo is. The buffalo is bomb, and one of my favorites is the caramelized onion. So look at there. Lunch is made for days because these will last for like days and days. It is, I mean, changes so the game. It's going to be Nate's son, Jacob, Nate, and myself for tomorrow and then we'll have lunch jacob nate and me for the next day because yes. these wraps the way we fill them they're so full yeah we get so full off one oh, wrap so good and of course you know like setting yourself up with like you know Lisa did prep up this stuff before she wrapped them so that might take a little bit of time and then as you see we've got some we've got start a... of our dinner salad so what i'd like to do is just whatever wrap ingredients yeah. that we have left we just dump into the salad bowl and then we eat them oh. all for uh, dinner. Look at it. Boom. So we got a little salad there. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Just like that. Just like that. We got okay, yeah. Here, um, Toya says, I switched out my 10 tray for okay. two 5 trays because they didn't get e um, evenly dehydrated. So this is a really key thing, Toya, is to make sure that you have a couple of shelves spaced in between. You can't really... St like the five tray, we would imagine would be a little tricky. You'd be able to do two wraps in there comfortably, but if you did two recipes, that would be four wraps in there, and that would be too much for the five tray because the more wraps that are in the dehydrator, the more moisture that's in there, and then they're not going to dehydrate as evenly. So we have found they take like an forever. Extra six hours. So what we have found is in the nine tray, we put two recipes in there, which gives us four trays, four wraps. And that works perfect. So they, they have like a good amount of airflow to dehydrate properly. I know that's really, really frustrated when they don't dehydrate properly. So then what we have here is we've just got some date containers that we purchased from uh, Costco. And we keep using these over and over and over again. It's a really strong plastic. And look at how beautiful they fit in there. And I mean, there's lunch and dinner. If you had some fruit to go along with the wrap or maybe like a little side salad, yeah. One half of a wrap for me, and I feel like I can eat a lot of high fiber foods. Like I'll eat a massive Ted, bowl of salad. Ted ate one whole wrap. <laughs> yeah, Ted ate the whole thing, both of them. But I personally, when I eat two of them back to back, I'm a little uncomfortably full. So I That's like. That's how filling they are. Yeah, I like to just eat one, and I'm like, I'm good to go. I'm full. And then you know, maybe three, four hours later, I'm ready for the other one. So it really makes it nice. So so nice. There we go. Lunch is done. Very good. Woohoo! All right, I'm going to give this back to you, and I'm going to get back to work. Love you guys. All right. Enjoy Yay. the night. Merry Christmas or happy holidays. And, yeah, make sure you guys start making some wraps because, I mean, look at that. Like, I know. Look, if this was just for me, if this was just – there's lunch for tomorrow. That's Monday. Here's Tuesday. Here's Wednesday. I don't even have to worry about lunches. All I have to do is bring some snacks like some grapes or apples and bananas, these sorts of things, oranges. And I don't even have to worry about lunch. But if I was to really space it out right – I could have one of these halves for lunch and then have maybe like some celery sticks and some dates or some apples as well. That's going to be fine. I could eat the other half for dinner. So this really could be lunch and dinner for the next <laughs> three days. Right? You just have to make a nice sauce and you're good to go. Oh, this is so good. Yes, the wraps are vegan. We are vegan. Everything is vegan. So you don't have to worry about any animal products being in any of our products. We're also raw vegan so we don't cook anything everything that we eat is raw is raw so uh let's see we've got my silicone trays are 10 by 11 is that an okay size you'll still work you'll you'll be able to get three wraps uh, three um three full wraps like from here this makes one wrap 
but one recipe makes two of these 14 by 14. If you're using the 10 by 11, you'll get three. So you wanna spread the, the batter over three of your trays. Yes, raw vegan three years, raw vegan four years. Yes, can we make the wraps in the oven? No, you can't. You need a dehydrator because they need to be under 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the oven is uh, inadequate airflow and it's too hot. They turn into crackers, they're really hard, they're crusty, they're not easy to, ply they're not pliable really at all. So you can't use an oven, um, unless your oven has a dehydrator option and it goes to 115 and it has adequate airflow, then you could try it for sure. I've heard some people who have like air fryers with a dehydrator option, they take forever to dry because they're just so small and they don't have enough space. So. Yeah, that's the wraps. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining while I wrap these up and with Nate explaining everything. Oh, the tower. Oh, the tower. People wanted to see the tower. Okay, let's go see the tower. Double the recipe for how many silicone trays? Okay, if you have these trays, one recipe makes two. For your trays, the smaller trays, one recipe makes three. So I'm going to head over to the tower now all right, going on a little tour <laughs> of our place. This is our office and here's our messy bedroom, but here's our tower. Here's our tower. And this is where we harvested all of those greens from. This is the lettuce grow tower. If you want the link to go buy one of these for yourself, send me a DM, I'll get you a link, but it's got so much on it and they're growing so nicely seriously delicious we've got some dill here and we have some bok choy some kale some green onions radicchio here gorgeous leaves so yeah if you want to get a tower send me a dm i'd be happy to send you the link these are super cool and i just harvested so even though there are still some leaves, I don't like to harvest everything off. They'll just keep growing. These center ones will keep growing. So I like to take off, like for example, I'll just take off the outer leaves and then the center ones continue to grow until they bolt. Once they bolt, like the center will basically go shoot up straight up and it'll go to seed. That's when you can harvest it and then just replace it with a new start. You can buy the starts from them from lettuce grow, they're all organic. How long does a harvest take to grow? It really depends on how often you take off pieces of lettuce, but these have been going for maybe about three weeks or so. It really depends on how often you harvest. We only harvest a couple leaves at a time, usually just for the wraps. Look at that gorgeousness. So yeah, it really depends on how much you use. This obviously doesn't feed us <laughs> um, fully. We like to use them as like accents and variety for our salads. We usually have a base of romaine and then all the other varieties. As you can see, I chopped off some of these. <laughs> this was charred. I chopped off a couple already. But yeah, that's the tower. Lettuce grow garden if you're interested. Send me a DM and I'll send you a link. If you want to get the hand salads ebook, the link is in my bio. And 40% off any or all of our ebooks. Code is rawfood40. Uh, go check those out if you're interested in adding more raw food to your diet. And yeah, any, any questions you have, don't hesitate to send me a DM. I'll try to get to you as best I can. But thank you so much for joining. I'm going to sign off. I got to go make dinner. <laughs> And yeah, Jacob is coming tonight, so we got to get his room ready for him. He's going to be here for four full days. We're going to take him all around. So stay tuned in the stories to watch for that. But I love you all so much. And as always, as always, fruit on.